In this laboratory at the University of Innsbruck, scientists don't develop photographs, but rather determine the age of certain rock types. The red light is used like in a photo darkroom to protect light-sensitive material. Here, the scientists deal with tiny crystals that stored light, to put it simply. Geologists utilize this luminescence dating method to determine the age of sediments by measuring the stored light. Our ultimate aim is to reconstruct paleoenvironments and, and paleoclimates. And this part of research is uh, quite important nowadays because we, as a human species, have a quite a large impact on our planet. We do change the environment, we do alter the climate. And in order to understand how climate is evolving and uh, will, will continue to change, it's very important to understand also the past environments and, and the system, how it uh, operated in the past, so that we are able to make solid projections for the future. And it covers a time span roughly from the last uh, couple of ten, tens of years, so very recent history, all the way back to several hundred thousands of years. For luminescence dating, the scientists use quartz or feldspar crystals occurring in sand, for example. At coastlines or riverbeds, sediment deposits can be several meters high. In nature, some radioactive radiation always occurs, which affects the individual sand grains. For a later analysis, the sediment sample needs to be treated mechanically and chemically in the laboratory. The quartz and feldspar crystals remain. The basic principle behind it is that uh, light can be stored or gets stored in these, uh, in these mineral grains because due to the natural radioactivity electrons get elevated into higher orbitals, they get caught there on uh, crystal defects. The crystal stores the energy as long as the sediment remains in the dark. That is why the samples have to be extracted cautiously and under the absence of light and treated under red light. Normal light releases the stored energy immediately. The scientists use this effect for measurements that happen inside the luminescence apparatus. If you take a sample under light safe conditions and bring it here into our lab, we can stimulate these sand grains with light and these electrons will fall back into the original position. And while they are falling back, they are emitting a small, tiny, tiny light signal. So they are actually shining. And this tiny light signal can be measured and it's proportional to the sedimentary age of, of the very sample we, we are investigating. Eventually the sediments can be dated by measuring the amount of stored light. The scientists in Innsbruck also work with researchers from other research fields. They are able to answer questions that initially may seem unusual for geologists. For example, by using luminescence dating, new light was shed on the first permanent human settlement of Tibet which would usually be a topic for archaeologists. So our uh, current uh, research in Tibet is focusing on the paleoenvironmental reconstruction and paleoclima paleoclimatic reconstruction um, of the Tibetan plateau. And we are particularly interested in uh, human occupation of the Tibetan plateau. So we, what we want to figure out is at which time was the Tibetan plateau colonized and uh, under which climatic and environmental conditions. And one of the maybe most interesting sites uh, in that context uh, is uh, situated uh, in the south central part of, of the plateau, uh, a site called Chusang. Uh, we extracted quartz grains from a hot spring carbonate and uh, used these quartz grains for age dating. And this site is uh, well known under archaeologists because there are human hand and footprints preserved in this uh, hot water carbonate deposit. The luminescence dating method is good for minerals of up to several hundred thousand years of age. The measurement of the sediments in Tibet determined an age of between 8 to 12,000 years. Thanks to the work of the Innsbruck scientists, the time of the first permanent settlement in Tibet could be corrected. Until recently, it was estimated to begin 20,000 years ago.